Beaver, Arkansas may only have around 100 residents in it, but its most famous resident is the Beaver Bridge that you can see behind me. And RDOT officials tell me that the historic landmark here is getting some much needed TLC. Nestled in the mountains of Carroll County, just to the northeast of Eureka Springs off Highway 187, you'll find the Beaver Bridge. Built in 1949, it serves as the only suspension bridge open to traffic in the state. Designated a historic landmark in 1990, the one-lane bridge and its bumpy, creaky, all-wooden deck have become part of Northwest Arkansas, according to RDOT Steve Lawrence and folks who live and visit the area. We had plans to replace it at one point, and there was such an uproar over that that we ended up just canceling the project. And that's why we're, we're still maintaining and taking care of the bridge and and. For right now, it's gonna it's it's gonna be there. That's history, and that means a lot to this place. And there's a lot of people that drive from very far to see it. If they would have replaced it and just put a regular modern bridge, that would it wouldn't be near as cool. Crews are currently repainting the bridge a golden yellow. Covers still remain where painting still needs completed. Work on the bridge approaches is also planned. Now, RDOT tells me that maintenance here on the Beaver Bridge is needed about every 10 to 15 years, and the reason for that is pretty simple. It's not necessarily because of the traffic volumes that the bridge sees, but at times you can blame the weather. When the area sees a lot of rainfall and they need to do controlled water releases from Table Rock Lake, that causes the White River that you see here behind me to swell quite dramatically, and that can actually swallow up the bridge, putting it underwater. And we all know that wood and water don't necessarily get along. Also on the to-do list is replacing the wooden bridge deck with all new wood. You can see the sorry state of the wood in some spots, but the bridge is still more than safe to cross. But Lawrence tells me those floods are not kind to the bridge. Not only does it go underwater, there was one time, it was probably eight, 10 years ago, there was a big flood. Table Rock was already high and then they had to make a, they had to open the spillways and turn a bunch of water loose. It nearly washed the bridge out. And Paige, RDOT officials tell me that that painting work here at the Beaver Bridge will get back underway Tuesday morning once their crews return from the holiday weekend break. But the real work will start next week, more specifically next Monday morning through Thursday evening. That's when crews will completely close the bridge here while they replace that wooden bridge deck, and it should give new life to this 72-year-old structure. Standing in the White River in Carroll County, Robert Sir, 4029 News.